Over the last 10 years, I've made it a point to buy from local artists, craftsmen, and hobbyists. What I love most is all the stories behind the build. Join me and together we'll explore the DIY workshops, the dinner tables, and the she sheds where makers like you are turning their medium of choice into some pretty cool art. Today I'm here with Brant Workman. Brant and I actually used to live pretty close to one another and oddly enough we have similar backgrounds as far as what we do for a living. And we were just talking about how it's nice to have our hustles or our side projects um, but also uh, be able to rely on our work. So Brant, what do you do for a living? So I'm a practice administrator at Ogden Clinic and I am able to be kind of a business consultant to the doctors there and work on the processes and all kinds of things and outs of healthcare when it comes to the family practice. Something I can relate to very well. Um, but we're here in your shop today and uh, looking around, this we're in your third car garage. Yep. And tell me about your shop. What what do we have here that, that I need to I need to have or that I need to know about? Well, you need to have. I mean, I'll, I'll read it. <laughs> in my shop, I mainly make signs and other kind of home decor stuff. Uh, I get all kinds of different requests, and I, I, I come out of different angles. So I do have a CNC machine. I don't I don't use it much. Kind of upgraded to a laser, okay. and and that's where I do most of my design work. It, 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 it's much cleaner, I feel like. You, you don't have to deal with all the dust collection and all the craziness that comes out of CNC machine. But um, like this whole station here is, is kind of where I put things together. Got my miter saw, I cut things up, um, and then I made it nice and easy. So that way, my laser actually kind of hides when I'm not actually using it. So let's pull that thing out. So tell me a little bit about your laser. I know this is something that you're you're proud of, and something that you've been able to share your knowledge and some of your upgrades and even some little tweaks with a lot of people. Yeah, so the laser has kind of become a, a business in and of itself on multiple aspects. I use the laser for a wide variety of products. Um, I'm able to do engravings, do cutting, you know, make my sign stuff. Um, but in the process, I've become part of a community where there's been a need and I make YouTube videos that go over different upgrades of the laser, how to do different things on the laser. And so I'm I'm not just a, a product maker. I also help build the community and help teach people on what they need to do or how to, to get a specific effect or, or technique that they're looking for. Okay, so uh, show me a little bit about this machine. I'm not familiar with uh, laser machines and uh, this looks like a nice one. Yeah, I mean, it, I would, it doesn't have a huge price tag. Uh, I got mine when it first came out, around eighteen hundred dollars. Um, but I mean, they're they're still a pretty reasonable price if you go with like this model of the machine. But I'll turn it on. You can look at it. Okay. Um, so the laser itself, like this, is pretty much it. There's not not tons and tons to it but there's other things that you can do to upgrade it and, and make it work a little bit more efficient. Um, but yeah, it comes, it has a, a 28 by 20 bed, 20 inches wide, 20 inches up is the, the full cut capacity. Okay. I mean, you can see where I use it the most, where it's the, the dirtiest. Yeah, <laughs> um, looks like honeycomb. It, yep, that, and that's actually where they call it. It's a honeycomb bed. Um, lasers come with a variety of different bed types. Um, actually, underneath this one, it's bolted down, but it has what's also called a knife bed. So you're able to use it for more like acrylic stuff that you don't want to get like the, it's called like flashback from the metal that's underneath. The laser hits it and kind of like burns the, the underside of the material. Oh, okay. So it's supposed to help eliminate that. Fun fact, I actually used to be a beekeeper, so there see you know. that. <laughs> Honeycombs, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Um, but yeah, honestly, this is, it's been a great machine for me and uh, especially for like people that are getting started, you know, this is a really good size, especially if you plan on having a business that is going to be moving upwards. I was able to go on to Etsy and actually make a custom order. I chose one of your templates and then I went down into the comments and kind of customized it for what I wanted. Yeah. And I think you're going to give me the chance to help put that together or make a little more progress on my build. No, yeah. Um, so for, for the sign that we're going to do for you guys, 
all of the pieces that are actually going to go on the sign will be laser cut. Awesome. That'll be great. You've already gone in on your laptop and really did the design. I sent you kind of what I wanted and a couple hours later I got a text message back and it looked great. So I use Adobe Illustrator to, to make all of my artwork and it creates an Illustrator file that then I can just go ahead and import right into the software that I use that's called Lightburn. This is the design that we're going to make. I, I make everything in templates so I put this box around it so I'll actually have that box to use when I go and put it back down on the sign um, and then I just kind of am able to drop everything right back in so cool. it makes my alignment nice and easy because I'm, I get very OCD when it comes to alignment yeah. and like I could be sitting moving one letter around for like an hour like is it, is it up, down, uh, this way I'm like it's exactly how the laser cut it, that's how it's supposed to be I just drop it on there and it's done. This is a little intimidating to be honest, uh, <laughs> but as I gain a little bit of familiarity with, you know, you're using your editing software and then sending it over to laser, I guess, how do we help somebody get over that intimidation factor to just start making something? You know, these, they, they are like, you know, it has warnings on it, it, it is, it can start fires like there it, it can be so I understand the, the intimidation when I first got it I was intimidated as well um, now the way I look at it is almost like it is a, a big printer you know like those old they they really like the dot matrix printer yeah like the one so I, I look at it like sound. that yeah <laughs> yeah yeah so I look at it kind of like that because it does the same thing you know granted you have to get your paper you line it up Put it in there where you want it. Mm -hmm. Get the, the printer lined up so it can start in the right place, yeah. and then you hit go, and it just goes back and forth and it does its thing. Cool. And that—that's what this does. The laser head goes and it does its thing. Or if it's cutting out, it goes and it makes makes the rounds. Yeah. Or, or even like for some people that use a cricket, it, it's a big cricket. Yeah. And it, it just uses a little bit more power. That's cool. One thing I do have to ask and help me understand. What is the difference between a CO2 laser and a non-CO2 laser? So there's a couple of different types of lasers. Um, there are diode lasers, which is like a high power laser pointer. Okay. And, and so it's using light and it is making it hot enough that it will actually start to, to burn wood. Um, the, the CO2 laser, it actually comes with a CO2 tube in the back of it and then it uses energy and charges that energy so it is an infrared beam that goes around and then shoots. It bounces off mirrors and goes through a focal lens and, and helps to, to make that energy to cut or break or whatever. Um, it's just science. It's science. It's There's physics. <laughs> uh, and then the, the last one that I don't have a ton of experience with, but they have fiber lasers that, that work okay. similar with, with mirrors and lenses and, and is able to actually do more metal stuff where yeah. most of what I do is wood. Well, I got it close enough. Hey, as long as it's cut. These little things, like, it didn't come with magnets. No, nope. these are the little tips Pro and tricks. tricks and, yep. You did a video about the ramp test where it tells you exactly the distance that you need to do. So if you want to learn more about this laser and some really cool tips and tricks, then check out Brant's YouTube channel, which is Bearded Builds Co. Yep. And uh, you'll be able to really better understand how to use this thing. Shop pro tips, you've got your exhaust for this thing. It runs under the table here. Yep. And then, no big deal. Just throw that out the back door. The thing I have to bring up is the my first exposure to any woodworking or really any type of uh, hands-on crafting was from ninth grade wood shop. Okay. And it was a shop that had everything that you could ever need. And I think that being so comfortable with that, it kind of tricked my mind to think that I had to have all of that stuff in the ninth grade wood shop in order to actually produce something. But what I've learned since then is that the people that are out producing cool stuff, they don't even care. <laughs> you, you don't have to have everything. You don't have to have everything. I will say, I mean, you know, I'll, I'll yeah. be the devil's advocate. Okay, okay. It is some good tools make for 
a lot more, uh, a lot less headaches. That's true. Um, I know there's been a couple of purchases that I've made. Like if I'm doing cutting boards, I know that I want my planer and my joiner, but you don't have to buy the biggest one. Right. And that's the thing that you see in the wood shop a lot. It's like, oh yeah, there's a thirty thousand dollar this or a, yeah, twenty thousand dollars. Yeah, you don't need those ones. Right. Um, but yeah, so good quality tools do help. But yeah, there's a lot you can do with even hand tools. Yeah. So yeah, if it, you want to get started, then just start making stuff. And as you get better, as you hone your skills, and as you better understand what you want to create, you can start investing in some cool stuff like this. Yeah, and I mean, you can always start with with making products with just a, a circular saw, and yeah. then you have that circular saw for your next saw, and you know, yeah. that, that, honestly, that's how I started. I started in 2017, and I had a couple of saws, I've done a couple of things, I had some money on hand, and I bought my CNC. My CNC paid for itself, and then I bought a laser, and then my laser paid for itself, and then I bought some other stuff. So it, it just, over time, works. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay. Okay, and so, I mean, we should be ready to go. Do you want to hit the button? Yes, I'll just hit start. Or hit start. You're, you're on. Okay, so hit right here. Okay, so the laser's done. Uh, we've got our cutout sign, and now it's just a matter of putting it together. <laughs> we cut out the, the lettering. You already prepped the the bed. Yeah, the backer. The backer, thank you. And then the framing. And yep. just a matter of... Yeah, so now we'll put it together, we'll cut it down to size, um, and then we'll have like just the ends to stain once we've got it put together. Okay. And then once that dries, we'll be able to just kind of plop it in there and go. Sweet. <laughs> paint has dried and we'll go set these over in our template. So that we have... Perfect. You can now do a puzzle. I can now do a puzzle. <laughs> so the moment of truth. Nice. Here's our finished product. Thanks Brant. This yeah. is awesome. Absolutely. Always uh, happy to, to help a fellow maker or content creator. Yeah, it's been fun. So if somebody wants to get their hands on one of these, I've seen that you do them a lot with people's last names for special occasions. Uh, where's somebody going to go looking for one of these? Um, I mean, the best place, is, a lot of people are in contact with me on Facebook through Bearded Builds Co. is my handle on Facebook and also on Instagram. Uh, either place is a good place. Uh, to talk to me and we can work up what your imagination has in store and, and make it into something real. Awesome, so go check them out. And you can have one of these hanging in your, in your living room as well.
I'm here with Brant Workman from Bearded Builds Co. That's his handle on Facebook, Instagram, yep. and YouTube now. Yep. Very cool. So one of the neat things about your, I guess, project and your shop is that you're not just building, uh, you're not just doing woodworking, but you're also building a brand. Yeah, I, so with what I'm doing, it's not just woodworking, I'm also creating content. Um, and a lot of the content that I'm creating is going to, to help other people that are looking to do the same thing I'm doing. You know, a lot of stuff like, especially now is laser, and I am an active part of a couple of Facebook groups that oh, yeah. help people do that same stuff. So yeah, there's a lot that goes into what Bearded Builds Co. is, Yeah. and yeah, it definitely is a brand. Yeah, that's really cool. Uh, when did it really make the transition for you from kind of a hobby to what we can call a side hustle? Um, I would say, so I, I kind of started all this in about 2017, uh, October, when I first bought my, my CNC machine. It's grown, grown since then. Um, but I would say probably a year after that, it really started to become uh, something that I was doing full time. I guess not full time, but it's a side hustle. Yeah. Uh, but it became something that was actually making me money and something that I had to dedicate more time to. Um, but yeah, it didn't didn't take too long. Just kind of finding those knit products and things that, that people liked and adding my flair to it. Because yeah. that uh, I think that's what a lot of people come to me for is because they they like what I do. So you've got some of your. Really, your niche products, I imagine some things have kind of become your bread and butter. Mm -hmm. So what can we look for uh, that is pretty consistent coming out of your shop? And also, what can we look forward to for the future? Yeah, so um, I like to make American flags. Yes. Uh, you know, it's one of the things that I do often, and I've gone through a couple iterations and, and different designs to, to better the, the process on them. I do the family name signs, and tumblers have really become uh, a, a niche product for me. Yeah. Um, and have been, I've had businesses come to me and I've done like large orders and, and stuff like that. Um, in the future, I mean, I am getting a, a bigger laser, so who knows? We'll, we'll see some other stuff go on. Um, I got a couple new pieces of equipment. I want to start doing some more um, charcuterie boards and yeah. you know, some of that stuff that's a little bit higher end hardwoods um, and see see try my hand at, at doing some of that stuff and maybe adding some of the laser engraving to it to make it a little bit more personalized. That's awesome. It'll be exciting to see the even further evolution of what yeah. you're doing. So you've got a lot of experience at this point. You've been working hard and studying and learning. What advice do you have for somebody that wants to get started in uh, producing products to sell to other people? Um, I think the, the biggest tip, especially even for me, still to this day, is just go do it. Like, just get started. Um, one of the things that I see about myself is I have kind of that perfectionist mindset. And I'm sure. like, if it's not perfect, I'm not even going to do it. It's not worth it. But that, that stops me from getting going on a lot of things. And so, just go mess something up. <laughs> yeah. make, make a piece of crap so you can get onto the, the things that yeah. are going to be beautiful and that people love. So just, just start. So fail fast and just start making stuff for other people. Totally. Awesome. Well, thank you. Great time today with Brant Workman from Bearded Builds Co. And we're actually going to be giving away one of Brant's tumblers. So drop me a comment down below about who you want to give something like this to. And we'll send one in the mail for you. Uh, we're here today with Brant Workman from Builded Beards Co. Bearded and Builds Co. Okay. <laughs> we get cold, is that why? It's winter in Utah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, they've been, they've spent, you know, a century perfecting the, the, the flow. Hey. See Great ya. Build. See ya.